it's just when you get out here and you get in the water and you're on the beach or you're in the fresh air, it's a reset for sure. Ronnie Snow and his wife Allie are newly minted Robert F. Kennedy Jr. fans. Ronnie voted for Trump in 2020, but he says he wants a change. I like his foreign policy. I like his policy on uh, on the health care system, uh, national minimum wage. The couple are avid boaters. They love the water and the outdoors. These are things Kennedy has proclaimed to love. The health and the environment. Um, he's an intellectual and he's also spiritual. Um, he, he really truly cares about the people is what you can tell from the things that he's done in the past. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Kennedy is the wild card in the 2024 presidential race, running as an independent who shares views attractive to members of both major political parties. He is gaining popularity for some tired of the two-party system. Ali is a libertarian. She's frustrated with the choices only being Republican or Democrat. It's going to hurt both sides regardless um, as far as lowering their numbers, and that's kind of the goal. One of the big questions, who will Kennedy siphon votes from? What you might see is the, the mix of supporters for Kennedy actually drawing from both um, the former president and the current president. Dr. Joshua Scacco is the director of sustainable democracy at USF. The Kennedy candidacy is in some ways an amalgam of some issues that would be more amenable to Donald Trump in terms of particularly the base of individuals that support Donald Trump. So you can look, for instance, at vaccine skepticism as one of those, as one of those issues. On the other side, there are also issues that uh, Kennedy espouses that might be more favorable to Joe Biden, for instance, environmentalism. When we look to history for a strong third party candidate, look no further than 1992. Look at the issues, look at the facts. Look at all three candidates and then vote your conscience. Ross Perot for president. Ross Perot garnered nearly 20 million votes in the presidential race, a race Bill Clinton eventually won. But Dr. Skonko says this election year is different. In the aftermath of the pandemic, people are simply burned out with both parties. You have in a lot of ways individuals who are still quite upset for a variety of reasons. Um, for legitimate means of access to schools, to health care, to as well, because of things like systemic mis and disinformation that were put out about COVID. For Ali and Ronnie, Kennedy is the clear candidate. They are planning a boat parade as a fun way to campaign for him. I think Kennedy would enjoy coming on a boat parade too. Uh, I think he's an avid sailor. He, he does a sailboat. He's a surfer. Uh, He's all about protecting our parks and the outdoors and nature. They're even fighting to get Kennedy on the ballot in Florida, gathering petition signatures to make it happen. They get asked a lot about their support of Kennedy, with some suggesting they're just simply throwing their votes away. But I think if everyone truly voted for who they think best represents their values, I don't think that'd be the case. And I don't think voting for who you believe in is ever throwing it away. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. will impact the 2024 election. Exactly how much remains to be seen. In Tarpon Springs, Jeff Van Sant, Spectrum News.